Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a very long time since I have done anything, but I wanted to kick it off right, and I had a few albums that I could have started with this year. However, I decided to wait for Marina's Love and Fear album, and I also gave it a good week and a half um, with like the full album to like really sit with it and then kind of judge it from there. Um, before, like, reviewing each song, which I will, like, rate each song on, like, what my personal preference is, but, um, I really want to, like, establish, like, I know a lot of people hate this album, um, because it is very unlike Marine and the Diamonds, and so the, what I have understood here myself is that Marina relabeled herself as just Marina. And you have to take this album as a Marina album versus a Marina the Diamonds album. And you can see if, say this was her debut as Marina, this would be her. And so it's still very like what she would have done as the Diamonds, but like produced with like much enhancement. And I appreciate that she's taking this concept of psychology, um, love and fear, um, having like these two theories and then putting it as an album in her songwriting. I think that's very, it's new, it's fresh. So I have a friend that kind of said, this album is very refreshing. It's not like her old albums. Nothing is going to be like her old albums. And I think that we have to accept that every era that Marina has ever done, and she's like very specific about it, has been very singular and She's very universal as far as her sound because it's her voice, but each thing that she does is a different project. So we also have to expect a different sound with each project that she does. So I would like, to, like, I really like to appreciate an artist for, like, their growth. And it's not ever going to be the exact same thing. They can't go back to that because that's not where they are in their place anymore. And, like, as an artist myself, we always do something different, um, and, well, I'm not a musical artist, but I like to work on, like, projects and things like that, and I wouldn't like somebody to tell me, like, why don't you do what you did already, because it's like, you want to grow as an artist, so I appreciate this album in the sense that she grew as an artist, she's very matured, and I think it's a fitting sound for her, it is very pop, um, and there's a lot of things, like a lot of bangers. And I do th think that all of her lyrics are very easy. There are some very, like, poetic things in there. Um, but it's not, like, as heavy as... Like, Fruit was very, like, poetic. So it's not like that. But I still very much appreciate it. And appreciate that every song is produced very well in its own way. So let's get into the songs. And we can kind of go from there. So the first song was Handmade Heaven. We'll listen to a bit of it. I like the song because it's not like a mainstream like song that like gets you going, but it is a song that is nice to listen to. Um, it it being like her first song to like start the album was like very interesting because it definitely wasn't like fruit starting, you know, like that was very. I don't know, it was very nice. So, like, this one took me time to, like, get used to, but I do enjoy the song. Now, Superstar was a really good song when it first came out. When it starts with this, like, the little thing, like, when she did it as a teaser, I thought it was going to be, like, a ballad and stuff, and I was okay with that, and it wasn't, and I was also okay with that. Um, it was the first song that she released as a single that I liked immediately, then I also hated it, and then I liked it again. So, it's pretty funny. And then there was Orange Trees. With this song, I wish she did more of like a coo, like a ooh, or something, but I know that's not like how, like you say orange. Um, oh, I mean, yeah. So, I like that song too. It isn't my favorite. But, um, I appreciated it because it makes you feel very, like, 
fresh and easy. So I like it a lot for that. It's like a song you want to hear like walking um, or like driving in a car with the windows down. Then there's Baby and we've all heard Baby so I'm not going to play it but I, I like the sounds. It's fitting to like this like vacation vibes that like is in Orange Trees or in like Karma on the second track. Um, but I don't think it belonged on this album personally just because it was a collaboration and technically like Clean Bandit released it first as part of their album and like to promote their album and she didn't do that for hers but it was very like interesting to see that she put this song on her album um as far as like in the love realm it makes sense but I also think she could have had something different I know like all her songs were like very specific for each uh, genre and the tracks that she had. Okay, then we have Enjoy Your Life. I appreciate this song for the lyrics because same, I can relate. Um, and it made me feel like very... Like, there's a lot of tense things that can go on in someone's life, and so it's just like, don't be so hard on yourself about it, and things like that. So, I appreciate it for that. Overall, it's wouldn't be my favorite song. Um, so, yeah. Then there's True. See, like, if she did that, ooh, 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 for Orange Trees, I would have been loving it. I love that song, except for, like, the... Orange. I had to grow so much to like that like sound. It's like just very different. I love this song so much with all my heart. I think like this song reminds me of something that like Florence would do like Spectrum. So I think it's very like positive for people in general. Like it's not even specific for like a community or anything like that. But I think we we like, that kind of community appreciates it. Like, me as a gay person, I appreciate that song so much. Um, it makes me feel very, like, colorful and alive and, like, happy. And I think it's, like, one of her standout tracks. Like, especially on the love side of things. But, like, overall, too, that's, like, my top three songs is that one is included. It's just so fun and, like, positive. And I just love listening to it. It makes me so happy. And, like, she just really cares about us. And that is to be human. The pagodas and the palaces. When she was like teasing this song with her little like paintings, I was like, okay. It was cute. Um, and then like I see why it's like her heart of the album, I guess. Because if you think about it, like a lot of her problems were like being a human being and things like that. Which I feel like is something not that she struggles with, but like it's always part of her songs in some way or another. Like, Savages. This song literally is like a sister of Savages. I literally die every time thinking about that. Um, again, all of these tracks are really produced well. And then there's End of the Earth. Oops. Um, End of the Earth is a very well-produced song. The way it starts is very, like creative I think um the bass in the back this is a very like bass heavy pop album um and then there's just like the way she sings with things it just like works so well with her like the the way it's produced and the way she sings here works so well for her um needless to say as far as love goes it is like my least preferred section to listen to um because I think we've had it for a while when she released it on her own. So I've kind of already had my time with it. Um, but like in this moment in life, like I definitely relate more with what fear offers. Um, but if I were to rate love, I would have to put True as my number one song because it's very enjoyable. Superstar is my second just because I have like a, I had like a love-hate relationship with that song. But it's like really good to listen to. Like it's just... A very successful song. And then I would have Orange Trees because I grew to like that one as well. 
and then I would have baby because even though I don't think it belongs on the album it is on the album and it does in like it did for her belong here and um it's just a really fun song like to listen to and like be a part of then I would have Handmade Heaven. Um, it isn't my favorite track. I kind of grew out of it the more I listened to it. Um, then I would have End of the Earth because I think it's a really good song, but it's just not as strong as the other ones for me. And then I would have Enjoy Your Life because lyrically I relate, same, but I also probably wouldn't have put the song on the album. Um, again, these are just my opinions. She had her decisions um, and her reasons for putting it on here. I still listen to everything, and it's really hard for me to, like, rate the songs for this album because I enjoy most of them. But the, like, truth of the matter is, like, I have favorites and I have le least favorites, and that's just how it is. Oh, but I do strongly believe, like, it's an overall successful album. Then you go to Believe in Love. When I was... I kind of, like didn't hate that she was like releasing and teasing every literally everything so much because I mean that's her decision to make but it made me feel like very like engaged with like the album and like I think she was like antsy to release it as well and like she wanted people to have it already and I wanted to have it so bad too so like she made it very easy to reach the album I guess you can say like rather than here's a single here and a single here and now you have to wait like a whole month before the whole thing comes out and not that I wouldn't have appreciated the songs anymore but I guess I knew I, what I was getting before I got it if that makes sense so the first song I heard on a little interview was Believe in Love and that shit had me sent I was literally screaming because it was so good you say that I'm the fun to the pussy dated. You say that you found that sounds like a transformer. Um, but yeah, so I think like the production on the song is very successful. Like it's very unique from anything that she's ever done. Um, sound wise, I mean, just like sound wise, it literally is. <sighs> it is such a good song. Like I just don't understand. Um. So I was shook as fuck, and, like, I feel like if I was in the interview, I would have been, like, screaming. I'm sure, that, like, the people who went to, like, her live Q&A were, like, told, like, not to be, like, rash or, like, loud or anything like that. But I would have just been, like, you did that. I don't know what she thought anybody was going to think. Then there's Life is Strange. I also like this one because I like what she does with her voice. Um, it took me a minute to grow for this song. I like it because it's also unique. I think all the songs on this track are, like, just two are very separate from, like, love. But, um, Life is Strange lyrics itself kind of remind me of Enjoy Your Life. But yeah, grew to like that song. Then there's You. This is one of those songs that I think was, like, I don't think that her lyrics were easy to write. Like, that's not what I mean by this. It's just very, like, pop for her in the sense that her lyrics are very strong and new, unique. Like, they tend to be very, like, not that these aren't creative. I can't, like, not say that because they are. But it's just, like, this is more almost, like, commercial, um, some of, some of the songs where something like Fruit had like very interesting and like in-depth lyrics. A lot of the songs from Electra Heart are like that because they're more personal. Um, like Immortal is like a very like interesting song to listen to. Like per a lot of Fruit is, even like Family Jewels is very like unique. Like the title tracks are unique, things like that. So yes, I feel like You would be a song that if a mainstream artist had written, it'd be all over the radio. And this karma. This is a very enjoyable song. 
Um, I'm glad this is one that she didn't like feature at all because it ended up being like a song that was like very enjoyable and enjoyed by everybody. Um, it's like one of her most popular songs I think right now. Um, it does remind me of Orange Trees a lot. Like it has that same vibe, but I think it's more successful than Orange Trees. Um, as far as like the sound she was trying to achieve. Um, yeah. Like, when I was listening to it, I was like, this is it. Karma is it. And then, I heard a Marshall Machine. Which, also, a few months ago, like, when she did her little, like, neon, um, like, the Gold Records concert, like, that everybody had done. Um, and she, like, performed a Marshall Machine with Broods. I was, like, upset that when she started, like, releasing this era, they omitted that sound from many places. Um, I don't think they got all of them, because you could still listen to it on different places. But, hearing it live, I wasn't too sure about it. Hearing it, like, finished, I'm all over it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, that's her song. Her fucking bridge for this song ruins me. Mushroom Machines is one of my favorite songs, like, ever, that she's ever done. Um, it's just so, like, I don't know, like, emotional to listen to, listen to. so, I love it. It's produced, again, very well, and yeah, Too Afraid. I don't know what else to say about it, like, I feel like I should be saying more about that song because I love it so much, but, like, I think that's all I can say is that I just love it so much. Too afraid. It throws me in. It's like the background of this song that like hooked me where they do like that down. I don't know. That's probably not how it sounds, but that is like what hooked me into this. And then like everything else about it like really got me in. Because it's like not a sad song. It sounds sad at first. And she doesn't have like that in this album like at all, like slow or sad, which is interesting. Um but that song has grown to be like one of my tops like on this album so i'm sure like all the other songs are going to do that too and then we have no more suckers i was too open i was too quick i do very much like this song it is very very pop for her so she's done it before so that's okay. And it is her sound as well. Um, if, because she put this song on here, I really thought she should have put her unreleased on this album somewhere. If not, I really hope that she puts her unreleased song somewhere. Like, even just as like a single. So we're going to listen to Please Don't Call Me real quick. I know you care Cause you do this with everyone I love her voice right there where it like slightly like cracks like you can just hear it in her voice right here like ugh. that song is very pop and I was like when when they like showed it um, I was like, they are not going to have that on the album, so that's fine. And I was like, well, if that's what the unreleased sounds like, then I wonder what the rest of the album sounds like, because it's put out before the, al the whole album. But when I heard No More Suckers, I was like, she could have put fucking Don't Call Please Don't Call Me on this album. But I do get that this is also very more easy pop than what No More Suckers is. And, like, No More Suckers, like, fits her theme of, like, what is fear, like, you know? So, No More, s I mean, soft to be strong. I know. 
when you listen on headphones, like you can hear more clearly like the background noises. And I think like there's like the like extra noises that like really highlight the song. Like it's really cool. This is probably one of her sad songs, but like obviously sad. And it's very strong. It's a good song. Um, if I were to rate this album, my favorite would be, like, it really teeter-totters from Believe in Love and Emotional Machine. Um, strength-wise, I think Believe in Love is going to go, like, a long way. I have a strong feeling, like, Emotional Machine is just a personal choice, and that I'm going to tire myself out from that song at some point. My third favorite song is Karma. I think it's very good. Um... Then it would be Too Afraid, which may surpass Karma at some point. Um, then I have Soft to be Strong. And then sixth place is You, which, yes. Um, seventh is No More Suckers, I know. And then the last place is Life is Strange, just because it, it would be my first choice to listen to on this track. Um, and then I'll just like put overall like ratings right here. Uh, while we talk about, like, the fears and, like, the love of each song. So, if you break down her album, like, Handmade Heaven, I think, is about, like, love of the earth. Superstar is, like, love of a person. Orange Trees is, like, love of self. Um, I think Baby is, like, love of a person that you can't have but still have. Uh, it's, like, really sad, too. And I think these things could be, like, well, no, they can't. But anyways, yeah. Enjoy Your Life, I think, is also, like, a love of self as well as true and to be human. Um, those three are, like, very strong, like, self-love moments. Um, oh, wait, no, like, to be human, I think, would be, like, love of the world. Like, you have to love one another kind of thing. Um, and End of the Earth is an interesting one. Um, what would be love of a person? Because she's talking about a relationship. With disc two, you have, like, the fears. Believe in love is, like, the fear of loving. So, which is, like, interesting because she has, like, the theory that you can't have both existing in the same time and place. So I think that's interesting that at a time there was a place where she only felt fear and was afraid of, like, love. So, like, obviously that's acceptance and things like that in her first tr uh, few tracks. Life is Strange, I think, is, like, a fear of life itself and, like, having all these issues that are obviously, like, stressing you out, and I think we can all relate, like, we have those moments, and then, but, like, this helps you, like, work through that kind of fear, in a sense. You, this could be, like, fear of a person that you, like, in a relationship with, like, shit, it could be about somebody who's abusive, you never know. Um, Karma. Same thing, I feel like you and Karma would go hand in hand. She also talks about like that being like, those both being like made around the same time. So it could be like fear of a person. It's hard to see that you wanna be free. This could be like the opposite way, like you're the bad person in the sense and like you have, like, that fear. I don't know. Emotion Machine is such a powerful song. But, yeah, like, it could be, like, fear of self. Um, because she talks about being, like, a machine. And, like, I think, like, not really having feelings. Fear of freedom. For, like, self. Or fear of freedom for, like, others. Because maybe you think you're controlling. <laughs> Who knows? Too Afraid is obviously, like, the center of fear album. Same thing as like Emotional Machine. I wanna change, but I this song is very personal so let's just not talk about it. Um, No More Suckers. I was too open. This is like her like not giving a fuck song basically. I don't know. I would go more in depth about it but overall like 
the album is just like very strong the only like complaint that i really have about it is like every song is at least three minutes and i really like songs that are lengthy but her songs make up for it in like the production you know for a 16 track album i expected like a little bit over an hour of an album and we don't even get that fully but you get a full complete project at the end of the day and like every song is produced so well that it's like okay she took her time with everything lyrics i'm sure she spent months of like hard work on this as a project so it's very complete i actually give it a good like solid 9 out of 10. I know a lot of people have their ratings and they're very low. She's gotten a lot of bash as far as like from like magazine articles and things like that. She's gotten a lot of problems from her fans already. Um, I think she's gotten shit on tour too so it's just like it's a little unfair because it's going so underappreciated at least in my perspective. I hope that's not hers and I hope she is getting a lot of recognition from her fans and like that's really all she needs because she doesn't make music for anybody else but herself and her fans i think um but overall i give it that because in the long run when people are over selfish reasons what they want it to be they will like i guess appreciate it in a different way and this is the album that if you don't like it right away I think it grows with you, like, or you have to be in a very specific part or place in your life similar to what was personal to her to maybe understand it, and that makes sense too, like, um, not everybody is for everybody, not everything is for everyone right away, like, there's a few albums from other artists that I was, like, would look forward to a lot, and then it was just like, oh, okay, but then, like, months later I would be, like, in a place where it would relate to my life, and I would be like, I love this album, like it makes so much sense. So maybe not everybody's there yet um, for this one, and that's okay. But I think it's going to age very well. I think this is an album that will age really well. So I have to give it a strong rating for that. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think. If you love it or hate it, that's fine. <laughs> um, you know, but I think she's grown in the right in the right way as an artist, and she's definitely just. Marina, and I'm definitely still very much proud to be her fan. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.